Hello, it's Kate from inkstampshare.weebly.com. I've got a fun uh, little Easter packaging gift uh, project to show you today. Um, I found these chocolate eggs in a little mini carton um, at our local shop this week. Now, these ones are Oreo ones, and uh, I thought it would be really fun to see if I could dress this up a little bit better um, as an Easter gift. Uh, my son had other ideas for the chocolate eggs, as you'll see. He could not wait, bless him. So he has, I'm afraid, he's had one of these lovely beautiful Oreo eggs and enjoyed it. And uh, I'm not sure how much longer they will last. But I thought it'd be cute to try and try and dress it up. So I got rid of that cardboard belly band and made another one. So I took some of our pretty designer series paper. This is from the Tasty Treats collection. And um, I cut it at two and a quarter inches width, and I used the whole 12 inches round. In fact, it's slightly short, so I had to put a little tiny bit in the bottom to make it long enough. And I've added some of the free beautiful silver ribbon from the celebration leaflet, um, just to dress it up a little bit. We've got this fab free chick stamp set as well, um, that I have used to stamp out our chicken on. And my little boy, it's much as delight, coloured it in for me. So I just thought that was a bit of fun. I then um, cut it out on stitch-shaped framelits and laid it on one of the scallop circles. Um, I glued it together and then I put some dimensionals on it. And then, yeah, that will go around our little egg carton. And just dress it up a little bit. Now, I thought that was quite cute. Um, the purple's quite difficult to work with, I have to say. But, yeah, that's fun. So, but um, you can actually buy these four egg egg cartons in the spring summer catalogue from Stamping Up. Um, they are here on the page 18 right in the top corner here and you get eight cartons and they're great because they come in this nice neutral cream colour um, and you I've seen them spray different colours and de decorated and you can put all sorts of lovely treats inside them. But actually when I first saw our Hey Chick stamp set just before Christmas, I came across these cute, oh, now I've stuck this together, cute, um, also a mini four egg carton full of bath bombs. This bath is a collection, and I thought this would be perfect for Easter time, to have a little bit of a um, pamper and indulgence. Um, so I thought I'd dress this up as well. So what I have done is just to give it a bit of sparkle, I have cut out one of the scalloped ovals from the layering oval framelits um, in the Dazzling Diamonds glimmer paper. Can you see this? I don't know if you can see the shine in here. My light's not brilliant today. It's a bit gloomy outside. So I've cut that one out. And I'm also I'm going to use a different stamp set, which I will show you here. Right, this is the chicken one that I used before. <laughs> and this is the one that I'm going to use now. This is the Sweet Sentiments in the Spring Summer Catalogue and it's got loads of great sentiments in it. Um, and the one that I'm going to use today is May Your Peace Be Your Gift. May Peace Be Your Gift this Easter. Because I thought a bit of peace and quiet, bath bomb, indulgence, relaxing time, that sounds good, doesn't it? There's great loads of sentiments in there that are useful. So I've got out the one that I want and I've got a scrap of Whisper White. You can tell I've been using that one. And I have got our Blushing Bride. And I'm just going to stamp our sentiment in Blushing Bride. Let's just ink it up well. Now I want to use as much of the paper as I can, so I'm just going to pop it in the middle here. I hope for the best. Perfect. May peace be your gift this Easter. I think that's great. And that fits perfectly inside this stitched shape framelit. So on the egg Easter egg chicken one, I've used the circles, and uh, in this one, I've got the oval. Um, they all come in the same set, and I'm just going to cut it on the big shot. So just hold on a second, and I will cut that out. Sorry, it's just out of shot, but you will hear it probably squeaking away. Here we go. Fits beautifully. <laughs> you can see my hand, sorry about that. I'm just 
183. There we go. So, there we go. And it gives us little relief details like the stitching around the outside. And they fit together. But I've, I've got um, a bit of a gap so you can see the glimmer paper. So you can see what I was doing there. Yeah, so I have a bit of a gap with my dies so you can see this lovely glimmer paper on the top here. So I'm going to use Tombow on the back of this. You can tell I've been using this piece of paper before, can't we? There we go. I keep all my scraps and use them for all sorts. And why not? So the reason I use Tombow for this is because it grips onto the glimmer paper really well. Gets into those little nooks and crannies. And makes it stick properly. And I've all got today. I've already got some dimensionals on the back. The double-sided foam pads. I've already got some of those. So I'm going to put a couple more on. And I'm going to get some ribbon to match. You know, I've already cut a piece of ribbon. In my dimensional, so you can see what I'm doing. This is blushing bride ribbon, and right on the end, I'm going to put some snail adhesive. So a little bit of that on the end, and pop it round our little package. Oops. There we go. Now if we pop it in the middle at the top, we're going to hide the join. I think this would be a great little gift for somebody at Easter. Especially not, I mean, you know, most people love the chocolate, don't they? But you know, if you want a, not all chocolate or you want a bit of a change, you can just give them something to relax with. There you go. So I thought that was a fun little Easter gift. And as I say, you can get these little cartons from the um, Stamping Up catalogue. Um, if you want to have a look at the range, please pop over to my shop. It's kate.bolt, no it's not, it's katebolt.stampingup.net. And uh, there you go, there's both the little projects there. And um, I hope you've enjoyed this project. If you want to know what the materials are that we've been using, um, I'll have it all on my blog, which is inkstampshare.weebly.com. Thanks for stopping by.